Hey guys, it's Mike with Retro Game Boys. I just wanted to share the final design of the Intellivision 2 IntelliStick. I'm going to ramble on, so just deal with me as all the stuff is just coming to my brain as I'm trying to present this. I did not script it. I just want to tell you all of the pieces and all of the nuances and things you should know. First off, I've tried to accommodate a number of different user requests, both from uh, the internet as well as social media and um, from users that had tested my prototypes. This is the compact design. I'm going to go with this design first. I do have a larger design as you might have seen. We'll release that at a later date. Um, you have an eight-way micro switch. So it's not 16-way, but to be honest, it really doesn't make much of a difference on uh, on many of the games. I have a full compatibility list on my site that goes through the individual users testing which games are either affected or maybe the precision is a little bit reduced. Overall, I'm actually having a really good time with this stick playing games that I have never played. Those who know me will tell you that Mike never wanted to create an Intellivision arcade stick. Uh, he thought it was cost prohibitive. He thought that the game library wasn't uh, worth it because there are other games on there. Well, other people wanted me to create one, and I like to remain innovative, so um, I created one for you guys. So let's go through the other pieces we talked about. So we said eight-way switch, button one, button two, third button here. There's not many games that use the third button, but you have it if necessary. Uh, full keypad, customized keypad that uh, uses all the different controls. Now, there is an insert frame, okay? I can customize these lids. I can put the stick on the right, the buttons on the left. I can create this with an insert frame. You can just leave it in there and not use the insert or we don't have to have it. Let me talk about the nuances with the insert. So you can snap this in if you want. It goes in very nicely, fits snugly. It also gives the stick a nice look. Now certain games, for example, like Space Battle, you might want to use an insert. Why? Because it has different um, functions telling you to launch the squadron or go uh, to back to base or go to battle. Okay. Um, then there are games like Astro Smash, Auto Fire, Single Shot, and Hyperspace. Do you really, really need the insert for that? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. That being said, when you use the insert, it lines up over the, the raised buttons pretty nicely, and it does work. But you can see the insert moves a little bit. And you can see it's, the feel is not going to be the same like the original, uh, depending on how you're holding the arcade stick. So you can use this for reference if you wish, because I would like you to think about playing PlayStation or Xbox, those controllers, all those buttons. Do you have a label on all those buttons? No, you know what the buttons do after you familiarize yourself. So a lot of people can just use the inserts as a reference, don't have to keep them in there. For example, when I was playing Bomb Squad, you know, I knew the different inserts for the different pieces that were out there. I didn't really need all of the, um, you know, the settings. Same thing with, like, for example, Burger, Burger Time. Do you really need an insert for Burger Time? Not really. So that's going to be up to you. And I'm going to leave these options when I launch the page. That's going to say, you know, insert frame, no insert frame. I'm not going to charge you any additional. It's either going to be created with it or without. Well, like I said, I can create it with it. And if you don't want it, you can pop it off or just leave it on. Okay, so that's how I feel about the insert frame. I tried to make that work as good as possible, but being that this is a custom uh, circuit board underneath an industry standard keypad, um, I recessed it a little bit so you would be able to use the insert. As mentioned, it does work. It just doesn't feel the same when pushing. And some people might have something to say about that. So I did want to disclaim and show that. Okay, um, battery pack. So there is a battery pack because there is a control port board in here that needs to be powered. That battery pack um, will probably last a very long time. There's a switch. You turn that on, you have a nice little LED status indicator. Uh, I've left mine running probably on for over a month and the LED was still bright. Uh, three AAA batteries that I'm going to include. I used to have like a hood ornament type cover. Uh, I'm not including that. Uh, if you want it, I could make something custom for you. I have no problem. This is going to be a completely customizable project because I am making them one at a time. However, default, it'll come with just this flat cover. You can use just a simple flat screwdriver just to pop the top off if you need to. Um, here's your battery pack. There is a shrink rack uh, cable in here. I left enough slack so you can pull it out if you need to, change the batteries if need to, and so forth. But I can tell you right now, you're not going to need to um, change these batteries often. Uh, depending on how much you use it. 
and you can just shove the wire back in the hole like that. Everything is securely connected with wire harnesses and uh, shrink wrap connections. So you've definitely got high quality build and secure. And if you don't believe me, you can open it up and look for yourself. Okay, so what else could I tell you? So you have your keypad, your frame, the buttons, the switch, um, very long, nice long cable that plugs into the Intellivision 2. Uh, also plugs into, I believe, a Sears uh, Super Video Arcade, if that's compatible, which I've been told it was. I don't have one to test. Um, and uh, that's about it. Gameplay, I've already played uh, a number of games. And I have a number of videos on my channel that show some of the gameplay. So that's going to be up to you if you want to check that out. I'll probably am going to be posting more videos because now that I have a working um, arcade stick for myself, uh, I'm going to start showcasing some of that fun stuff that's out there. Um, that's about it. So let me know what you think. Uh, leave your questions and comments uh, where the video is posted, and I'll do my best to uh, respond and accommodate. Other than that, it was a fun project. And, uh, oh, I do have a wait list or what I'm calling an interest list on my site, a uh, little box pops up when you go to the site you can fill that out and then i'm going to send another message with more instructions on how i'm going to do this so i'll give you a quick preview of that I'm, i have a couple of these promised already to a number of people prior to this discussion with you guys on youtube but i'm going to make them available per, a person will purchase it i will build it send it out and then we'll make another one available person will purchase it send it out make another one available I'm not going to do this in a, uh, a particular waitlist order because I've had people just back out, et cetera. So what's going to happen is it's, it's going to be like my other products where you purchase it, you go in the build queue, and then I build it in the order received. But I'm not going to release like I did with the ColecoVision arcade stick where I did a, you know, a 50 pre-order unit and then everybody on day one bought them. And then the last person was waiting almost 90 days to receive theirs. And I, I don't want to do that, even though everybody was great with it. I'm not comfortable with it. It just didn't, wasn't good for my own personal anxiety having people wait that long. Plus, not to mention, I have other orders coming in at that time. So this is going to be put up there and purchased. And if you happen to miss out, because every time you get notified that another unit's been added, but somebody bought it from you, and that happens a lot, just reach out to me personally on the chat, and I'll add another unit for you if you don't mind the wait, and then you can purchase it. That way I have your consent and understanding that you know there's going to be a wait and that'll make me feel a lot better that I already spoke with the person, they knew they were going to wait for it and that's it. And I have a feeling a lot of you might do that and I'm okay with that, but I want to be able to speak with the person first, not just have them wait and wondering what's going on. Now you guys know I have a processing uh, order queue page that shows you the number of sales uh, I've made the number of units sold, the orders that are in process or in fabrication, the orders that are in uh, assembly. And that's a great way to keep you guys informed. But long story short, I want to speak with the person before I send this. And if you want some customizations, you know, I can accommodate those requests too, because I'm going to be making these individually. Okay. Uh, if anything comes up, I'll post another video, but I think that's all I wanted to mention. Uh, I really appreciate your trust and support. I've been doing this since 2017. Um, and I've over 7,000 units sold worldwide. Uh, and I thank the retro gaming community for, um, you know, being very supportive of my products and also for recognizing the attention to detail that I, I have and the customer care and how I treat you as individuals. And I really do care what you think and uh, I'm going to take good, good care of you. All right, guys. So that's all I have to say on this. Take care. And if you have questions, post them in the comments and I will talk to you all soon. Take care.